difficult to understand. He was betrayed by a friend, arrested and falsely sentenced to death. Jesus could have avoided the cross, called down fire from heaven, or summoned legions of angels to rescue him, to save him. But Jesus was not interested in saving himself. He was all about saving you. Every detail of this torturous path to the cross was part of God's plan to bring you to him. We're all broken. We've all messed up and have all made wrong choices. And no one had to teach us as a baby about anger and selfishness. We just came out that way, sort of a sin covering. But on the cross, with his blood he shed, the Bible says Jesus blotted out our record of sin, nailing it to his cross. The blood of Jesus washes away our sin covering. And his blood is our ticket. Our ticket to enter through a new door, a forever relationship door with God. So what do we do with this great news? The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You see, it's not enough to believe in Jesus with just your head. You must believe with your heart. Now, there's just one person alone at the foot of the cross. It is you. What will you say to Jesus? Say, thank you, Jesus, for shedding your blood for me. I'm giving you my heart today, Jesus. I do believe you died for me and that you were raised from the dead for me. Please give me a new heart and a new life right now. Jason Blood Church coming to you today. Get saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. Pay attention to the salvation message at the beginning. A quick end times update. We know Russia and Vladimir Putin have been announcing on a billboard uh, signs all through Moscow about an important announcement. And it came today, February 21st. It's a CNBC article. Uh, Europe, Europe politics, they started the war, is the quote. Russia, Putin, Putin blames the West and Ukraine for provoking conflict. So that was the narrative repeatedly rejecting the U.S. and NATO on uh, Tuesday on this, again, highly anticipated speech. He lashed out at his adversaries and um, the Western nations about the conflict in Ukraine. And so February 24th will mark the one-year point since Russia mounted the large-scale invasion of Ukraine, beginning a ground war in Europe. And so we know that the, the fighting does continue with tens of thousands in the death toll. You know, as a Christian, you just wonder if these people are really saved, uh, you know, because it's unsaved killing unsaved. Well, that's not a good situation. And some of this is a little bit of rhetoric, right? Yeah, but, you know, it's interesting to see the official you know, set of circumstances and how, the, how Russia perceives it. Moscow has concluded that the U.S. administration on Saturday has, has crimes against humanity. And it'll be interesting to see what's to come, you know, after this. As, as again, I do, I do believe that Russia will overrun much of Ukraine. I don't know if they'll take all of it, but I think that they are in a position to take the majority of it. It depends, again, what NATO does. If NATO moves ground forces in, it could, it could certainly change that dynamic. But I, I definitely feel that would be a total act of war, and then nuclear, nu nuclear weapons could come out. You know, we know that the Biden administration has reaffirmed unwavering and unflagging commitment to Ukraine's democracy. But the S&P 500 is down about 2% right now, 1.5%, because, I think because of the news here um, is a big part of that. So th this is having a, an effect across. And we know that, the, that at some point in time, the world markets are going to collapse. It might be in the tribulation. But we're, we're set, the stage is being set in a way that the in interconnectivity with these markets are such that if they would slip, they all might slip. You know, in the past, it's always been one nation's Great Depression or a market crash. But we're setting up a situation where they could all crash. And that would be, you know, a situation where then people would work in the tribulation for a loaf of bread. It would be a tough time. So again, we don't we don't know what's going to happen, and, and other than this announcement, but just a special quick broadcast that Putin has delivered his annual State of the Nation address um, on on today's date, 
and and central Moscow. So we'll keep an eye on that as we always do, as as, as always keep an eye on Israel, see what's going on there as well. But we just keep our eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ, our blessed hope, Titus 2.13, the soon return of our Lord and King in the clouds to get his church. Are we closer to the rapture? Each and each and every day, my friends. See you again or see you in the air. God bless. Have a great day.